Spirit. In the name of the Father, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come together as a family of God in our Father's presence to offer Him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive His Holy Word, to bring before Him the needs of the world, to ask His forgiveness of our sins, and to seek His grace that through His Son, Jesus Christ, we may, we may give ourselves to His service. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open up our lips. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. <coughs> Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand up towards the house of our God. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord, May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may save you in the news of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The psalm for this evening is Psalm 18. We'll read from verses 32 to 52. We'll recite the psalm together. The way our God is perfect, the word of the Lord has been tried in fire, he is the shield to all that trust in him. For who, who is God but the Lord? Or who is our rock but our God? It is God that gave me with strength, that made my way perfect. He made my feet like the feet of a hind, and set me sure footed up on the mountains. He taught my hands to fight and my armies to aim an arrow of bronze. You gave me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand upheld me and your swift response has made me great. You lengthened my stride beneath me and my ankles did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtook them nor did I turn again till I had made an end of them. I smote them till they could rise no more, and they fell beneath my feet. You gave me with strength for the battle. You threw down my adversary under me. You caused my enemies to show their backs, and I destroyed those that hated me. They cried for help, but... There was none to save them. They cried to the Lord, but he will not answer. I pondered them fine as dust before the wind. I trod them under like the mire of the street. You delivered me from the strife of peoples. You made me the head of the nations, a people that I had not known, known and not became my servants. As soon as they heard me, they obeyed me, and the aliens humbled themselves before me. The strength of the aliens withered away. They came faltering from their strongholds. 
The Lord lives and bless be the rock, my rock. Exalted be to the God of my salvation, the God who sees it up, see it that I am avenged, who subdues the peoples under me. You set me free from my enemies. You put me out of the reach of my attackers. You delivered me from the violent men. For this, I will give you thanks among the nations, O Lord, and sing praise to your name. To him that gives great drums, to his king, that deals so faithfully with his anointed, with David, and with his seed over me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will read our first lessons for this evening. And our first lesson for this evening is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, and we'll read verses 1 to 15. Isaiah, chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. Judgment of Jerusalem and Judah. See now the Lord, the Lord Almighty, is about to take from Jerusalem and Judah both supply and support, all supplies of food and all supplies of water. There he had to and the warrior, the judge and the prophet, the suitor and the elder, the captain of fifty and the man of rank, the counselor and skilled craftsman and clever enchanter. I will make boys their officials. Mere children will govern them. People will press each other, men against men, neighbor against neighbor. The young will rise up against the old, the base against the, the honorable. A man will seize one of his brothers at his father's home and say, you have clock, you be our leader. Take charge of this heap of rains. But in that day, he will cry out, I have no remedy. I have no food or clothing in my house. Do not make me the leader of the people. Jerusalem is stronger. Judah is falling. Their words and deeds are against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. The look on their faces testifies against them. Excuse me. They parade their sin like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them. They have brought disaster upon themselves. Tell the righteous it will be well with them, for they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. Woe to the wicked. Disaster is upon them. They will be paid back for what their hands have done. Youth oppress my people. Women rule over them. Oh, my people, your guides lead you astray. They turn you from the path. The Lord takes his place in court. He rises to judge the people. The Lord enters the judgment against the elders and the leaders of his people. It is you who have ruined my vineyard. The plunder from the poor is in your house. What do you mean by crushing my people and grinding the faces of the poor? It lays the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Here ends the first lesson. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for He had looked with favor of his lowly servant. From this day, all generation will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in, very, in every, every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud, the proud in their conceit. 
He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up slowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help his servant Israel for he has rem remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our forebearer, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. We'll hear our second lesson, our second scripture reading, is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. The parable of the wedding banquet. Jesus spoke to them again in parable, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like the king who has prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. Then he sent someone, some more servant, and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his field, another to his business. The rest seized his servants, ill-treated them and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not observe to come, deserve to come. Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet everyone you find. So the seven went out into the street and gathered all the people they could find, both good and bad, and the wedding Hall was filled with guests. But then the king came in came in to see the guests. He noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. Friend, he asked, How did you get in here without wedding clothes? The man was speechless. Then the king told the attendants, tied him, tied him hand and food and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and garnishing of teeth for many are invited but few are chosen here ends the second lesson Lord, now you let your servants go in peace. Your words has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the light of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to death. On the third day, he rose again. He has sent into heaven, and he seated the right of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, and the rest of the body, and the life of everlasting. Amen. I believe and trust in God the Father, who made the world. I believe and trust in His Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed humankind. 
I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time on trial and live us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. O Lord, be gracious to our land. Let your priest be clothed with righteousness. O Lord, make your ways known upon the earth. Give your people the blessing of peace. Make our hearts clean, O God. Eternal God, from whom all holy, holy desires, all good counsel, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that, free from the fear of, of our enemies, we may pass our time in the rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and danger of the night. For the love of your Holy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forever. The blessing and honor and thanksgiving praise more than we can utter, more than we can understand. Be to you, O holy and glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, from all angels, all people, all creatures forever and ever. God of all powers, we acclaim you. Lord of all grace, we worship you. We are not worthy of you. Yet your goodness makes us praise you and give you thanks. We praise you for the life you have given us and for all the blessings we have received at your hands. Above all, we give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the grace and hope which his death and the resurrection have brought to us. We ask this of you, our Father, that we may never forget your goodness to us and that we may show our thankfulness not only in words but by the service of our lives, both now and in all eternity. Almighty God, the fountains of wisdom, you know our needs before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and those things which for our unworthiness we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask, grant us through your Son Jesus Christ, our Savior. Preserve us, Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. May the Lord bless you and watch over you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be glorious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. Good night.